Look who decided to join the action, Mr. Lightning himself. You know, we all know that all these riders out here are good, but if Mr. Lightning would get in one of these races, I don't think these guys would have a shot. But that's my opinion. I know these guys are competitive edge. They've got a different opinion, but we all know that the man to put this track together would blow right by these guys. Here comes Billy Rock on Morris. Up the hill. Got a little bit of racing action going on. Not sure what place he's in right now, but he is sure giving it all he's got. As we turn back down to the downhill, here comes a few more riders. They will come down into that little mud pit, so to speak. Get the tires a little wet, make the turn, and head right back up another hill. A little side-by-side -side action there. Oh, Mr. Showboat himself. Who would have thought? Gotta love him, though. Here comes our good buddy, Craig Smith, making that turn to come up another hill. And he gives us a little bit of action. Having fun, that's all that matters. You can't say it enough about these guys having fun out here. You only live once, you might as well come out. Live on a dirt bike track. Be right back with more action on World Earth Music. Oh, I watched it all by 87 pounds. <laughs> As you can see, we all love the hill climbs, but most importantly, we love the flat track because these guys can catch up with a lot of speed. Some guys can catch up with a lot of speed. Some guys are just wore out. Not that gentleman, though. And he watches every week, now he's a YouTube star! Mark Bolin is now officially a World Earth of Sports YouTube star. Not sure who that gentleman is, but he has been riding well all day. We'll have to catch an interview with him after the race. Here comes our leprechaun, buddy. Craig's good son. Once again, as we said, catch a lot of speed. As you can see, there comes a lot of late riders. Some quads. Some got their dirt bike strapped. Hopefully, they're not supposed to be in this race because they're a little late. Back to the action here as they come down this hill into a little straightaway here. A little side-by-side -side action going on. At this point in the race, it's time to separate the men from the boys. There goes one of our good buddies. He cracked open his head earlier in the race. But a little blood ain't gonna stop him. The guys can make up their speed. Real good. Oh yeah, there comes Rock on Morris. Boy, these guys are sure gaining up some speed to this straight away here. Coming off that hill. As you can see, he's a little bit tired. As earlier, guys, you seen. We had a lot of wrecks on that hill climb, but this is where it all starts. As they come around that turn, they gotta shoot up that hill, gain momentum, and try to get up there as quick as they can. As you can see that gentleman, you probably couldn't see it from here, but he got up pretty easy. Comes another rider. And 
It happened. Look out. how smooth he gets up this hill. I bet you he doesn't miss old Betsy now. Or as we used to call her, suicycle. There's our good buddy Mark as he heads up the hill. And as you can see, he does it pretty easily. That's a first place guy. Leprechaun buddy. And just like his daddy, he knows how to ride a dirt bike. Oh, uh-oh. Got stuck there. Things happen out here though. And as we got another rider coming around the corner, he's gonna head up the hill. What the good thing about Craig's son though is he knows how to get out of the way. Some riders don't know how to do that and it causes bigger problems. But this kid's a smart rider and he's gonna have a great future here in dirt bike racing. As you can see, more competitors coming around that turn. As you can see, we have been out here for almost two hours, which means the race is almost over with. You can tell these guys are really, really tired. 